The story of an actor on a hit TV show, a member of the Church of Scientology, and three former church members who say he raped them. Danny Masterson, best known for his role as Stephen Hyde on that 70s show, which aired on Fox for eight seasons, ending in 2006. Now 47, Masterson was convicted in May of raping two women at his home in separate incidents between 2001 and 2003. The jury deadlocked on a rape charge involving the third woman. On Thursday, yesterday, Masterson, who continues to deny the allegations, was sentenced to prison, 30 years to life. Masterson's attorneys say he will appeal the convictions. But there is more to this story, questions about the role of the Church of Scientology and whether it played any role in why justice was so long in coming in this case. Scientology, a relatively new religion, is secretive and litigious and has regularly found its legitimacy challenged, including opposition from the medical community to its claims about mental health and e-meters, devices that supposedly monitor the body's electric flow, while so-called auditors ask would-be members questions to discover sources of trauma. The Scientology connection is important here because, as Rolling Stone reported, witnesses testified at the trial that Scientology has an expressly written doctrine that not only discourages but prohibits its members from reporting one another to law enforcement. Now, during their testimony and at the sentencing, as well as in separate civil lawsuits, Masterson's accusers said that church officials tried to silence them and cover up for Danny Masterson. During the trial, Variety reported that the women claimed, quote, the church dissuaded them from reporting Masterson to the police. Prosecutors argued throughout the trial that Masterson had taken advantage of his position in the church to rape women without fear of repercussion and that the church forbid women from going to the police to report sexual assault, unquote. The Los Angeles Times says during closing arguments, prosecutor Ariel Anson told the jury, quote, the church tells his victims rape isn't rape. You cause this. And above all, you can't go to law enforcement, unquote. Hours after Masterson sentencing, the Church of Scientology responded by re-releasing its statement from the day of his conviction in May. It says, in part, there's not a scintilla of evidence supporting the scandalous allegations that the church harassed the accusers. The church has no policy prohibiting or discouraging members from reporting criminal conduct of anyone, unquote. Among those in the courtroom yesterday to support the women, actress and advocate Leah Rimini, a former member of the Church of Scientology who's been an outspoken critic. She joins us now with Mike Render, a former Church of Scientology senior executive and Remini's co-host of the podcast Fair Game. Thanks to both of you for being here. Leah, let me start with you. Variety reports that one of the accusers, identified as Jane Doe number one, testified, quote, my understanding from Scientology my entire life was that you can never be a victim. Nothing ever happens to you that you didn't cause. No matter what condition you find yourself in life, no matter how horrible you are responsible, you created that, unquote. Do you see Scientology itself on trial here in any way? Uh, well, it's not. Well, it should be on trial. They should have been a co-defendant in this case. Um, yes, uh, Scientology policy is um, should be looked at. Unfortunately, they have tax exemption. Um, but however, uh, this is absolutely true. It's absolutely law. It's absolutely policy of Scientology. I was a Scientologist most of my life. And Mike, uh, the former head of the Office of Special Affairs, um, and that is not her understanding. That is the law of Scientology. We are not allowed to uh, report crimes to the authorities. We're not allowed to sue each other. Uh, so that's absolute law. And when you watched the trial, Leah, what was that experience like? Uh, it's, it's, it was heartbreaking. Um, I've been uh, involved uh, supporting the Jane Doe's as, as well, Mike. Uh, for seven years. Um, I've had my own experiences with it. This is one story out of thousands, if not, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to anybody to think I'm being, uh, you know, I'm exaggerating for, for any reason but to tell the truth. However, uh, this is just one of many uh, cases that Scientology has been involved in, in attempting to obstruct justice. Um, and Mike could, could also speak to that, but it's the absolute policy of Scientology. And, um, I think they should be held accountable, which is uh, some of the basis of uh, part of the basis of my lawsuit. 
uh, so that people can come forward, victims can come forward, people are allowed to uh, report crimes uh, concerning Scientologists, uh, Sea Org members, as well as uh, you know civilian Scientologists. People should not be in fear uh, of retaliation for a multi-billion dollar organization calling itself a church um, uh, for fear of, uh, of what they do to people.